What's up guys? Welcome to another video. We are currently on our way to Bendethra. When I say we, I mean Chantel and I. So it has been a couple weeks since the last video. Uh, I've been pretty flat out with work and that, but it's a long weekend this weekend. So we're gonna hit the bush like a ton of bricks. Let's go. And we are here at the Bendethra camping area. So to give you an idea of where it is, that's Maria, Bayman's Bay. Uh, we're pretty much straight west from, from Maria. But yeah, that's us. There's some caves up here, a few other little things around. I don't know. We'll probably go in and set the tent up, just get our spot, because I think it is a bit of a popular place now. And then um, might go for a look around. So we've had a bit of a drive around, looking for a spot to set up. And uh, we found this one. It's a little bit rocky, so I don't know. We might put the tent over here, sort of flat. Uh, we should get a bit of sun in the morning, but we'll see. But then down here, it is absolutely beautiful. And there is also a rope swing, but the water is absolutely freezing. So, yeah, I'm not sure. I feel like it'd be a missed opportunity if I didn't get in, but it's gonna be damn cold. But before we do that, we'll get set up. Give us a quick tour. So we've got an Austan RV4, uh, which is sort of perfect for the two of us. I'll show you inside. We recently bought the Zempire, um, I, I think it's a double mattress. But yeah, we've used this once now. That was in Coffs Harbour actually. And it is a massive upgrade from the Kings on we had previously. Though the Kings on was comfortable, it just didn't seem to last. We do still have the Kings sleeping bag which is perfect for the colder weather uh, because there's like three layers to it so you can kind of really snuggle in if it's if it's real cold. Then the Coleman table, I think that was from Anaconda. And then in the back, got a King's 60 litre fridge and just one of these boxes. This sort of has all our cooking, cleaning, 
just everything really but apart from that it's just the tools and stuff that I take but yeah then we got obviously the chairs just a generic camp chairs and a uh, bit of firewood because I wasn't sure what it was going to be like out here but there is heaps around anyway I'm not sure if you're allowed to take it but we brought some just in case so that is it might uh go for a swim now but because we have just set up the sun has kind of gone off the water and I know it's going to be cold but we're going to go in anyways all right let's see how cold this is Oh. oh my god. <sighs> no, no way. No way. Oh, my legs hurt. I don't think I can do it. Oh, I just gotta go for it. <laughs> Oh. oh, it's actually not so bad now, but holy shit. All right, that's enough of that. I think we might have a few snacks and then just relax. see my face in this. All right, time for some dinner, I think. What do you reckon? Lego. 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 You reckon Lego? Okay. Gonna make this quick because man is hungry. So tonight we are cooking up an absolute storm with some dinner in a can, beef stock pot, and some rice. Because I'm a chef. <laughs> and this is what chefs do. All right, step one, shake your cans. Step two is heat the pan. And then put them in, there. Yep, that looks awesome. <laughs> um, all right, then for the rice, we need to boil some water. So, I need this one, 415 milliliters and two teaspoons of butter. So if this is 530 grams, then <clears throat> four fifths of that should be That is 415 milliliters of water. I am confident we're going there. Don't forget to stir this every so often. And then just two teaspoons of butter. Yep, that's that's one. Yep, nice. Awesome. That is two. Excellent. Now I don't know how long it's been, but that looks sort of how it should. So I'm gonna sit this out of the way. Can simmer there for a minute. And we'll get this boiling so we can get the rice on. Now that is boiling, we can put the rice in and leave it to cook. Then after about 10 minutes, your rice will be done and you can get ready to serve up. Oh, now I'll swap them, I'll let this sit and cool for a sec and we'll warm this up again. Now the beef stock pot is hot, we can serve up some rice. Wow, how incredible is that? My Jamie Oliver 15 minute meal. That took me 25 minutes. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. 
That's actually pretty good. I mean, of course it's pretty good. Um, yeah, it's delicious. Vendetra. It's pretty overgrown up here, but you can sort of see pretty far out. And there's a bit of room to camp up here if you would like to. But yeah, we'll keep going. Anyway guys, that's going to wrap up this video. Uh, not as much fall driving as I hoped for, but still a good getaway on our weekend off. It's all been sort of graded now, so you can pretty much get any stock vehicle with low range in there, uh, which is holy shit. Which is good for people trying to get in there, I suppose. But uh, definitely a cool spot to check out if you're in the area. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.